six months ago, I said sayonara to something pretty special in my life. I've had it for seven years and unfortunately neglected it for the last few. And that all changes today. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to a new dawn and a new day. And my name is Tom and I'm a film every single weekday of my life and put it on the internet for your faces. Where in today's vlog, I want to get this back on the road. Or actually, more specifically, off the road. Because, oh, she's a beauty and she's my first ever motorbike. I got her when I was 17. And I refused to let go of her. Six months ago, she might as well have been decommissioned. The tires were flat, the brakes were seized, and the fuel tank had rusted. But I sent her off, we got her fixed, and my childhood sender is back. I will quickly address that. There is much better bike options to have off-roading and having fun with, but this is my first bike, and I want to get back using it. It's nowhere near here for speed or by any sorts because it's a 125. And if I was trying to go fast, I would go out in that. So this is more for having fun, enjoying the nostalgia, and absolutely sending it. But I can't quite do that because it's not tax or insured yet. And whoa, 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 pause this. Ain't no way I'm having a productive day without the most important meal of the day. Breakfast. Mm, mm, mm. This is going to be good. We're actually starting off this Monday not exactly off to a motivated start. Because the house is an absolute heap. And I've had confirmation that Bed the Cleaner can't make it today. So you know what? Rather than sitting in squalor, we're going to sort it ourselves. Because as I've found over the last few weeks, a clean house means a clean mind. And it's a Monday, Monday, Monday. So I'm getting motivated and starting the week right. Oh, and you know what? After a big indulging weekend, and I weigh myself, we're coming in at 11 stone four. Not bad. Still a fat pie, mind you. But to say since when I started the gym and eating a bit healthier, I'm down a stone already. It's pretty good. And speaking of good, look at this. Here on the channel, we're trying to hit 2.6 million subscribers. We are just less than 11,000 away. So if you want to help us reach our target, do us a favor. Create a YouTube account, click the subscribe button, ding dong notification bell, and help us get to our goal. Oh, with my porridge out of the way, watching a bit of my Armstrong, I look to my left and hello, my boy. Good morning. Good morning, my son. What a nice surprise. Hey, you look like I did a week ago. <laughs> Who needs a drum, 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 drum? Who needs a drum when you've got a baby's tum, tum? Who needs a drum? Who needs a drum, 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 when you've got a little baby's tum, tum, tum? Who needs a drum? Who needs a drum, drum, drum? Who needs a drum when you've got a baby's tum, tum? His facial expressions as it are. Are you over my shit? I'm gonna take that as a yes. But oh ho ho! Application complete. We are now taxed. Let's try and find some insurance. I've put in all my details. So let's see what the survey says. I'm being enticed by meerkat meals and movies. All I want is a good price. Ain't no way. You've got to be having a Michael Bublé. The value of the bike apparently is only like two thousand five hundred pounds. It wants me to spend seventeen hundred quid to get insured on it. I are you having a giraffe? Well, I find myself distracted now by a tweet from JME who keeps tweeting me things about the vlogs. So I'm like 99% sure he watches them, which is an absolute compliment. To the point that where I spent 20 minutes putting these pictures up and struggling with the hooks and the hanging and all that sort of stuff, he tweeted me a solution. And I am not even kidding. These things look amazing. They're called 3M Claws, right? Check this out. All you have to do is hook this thing into the wall like that, and it holds in place these sort of weights. What? I, are you serious right now? I could have hung that up in seconds. So I'm just saying this is a completely distracted side note. Jamie, thank you. I'm going straight to Amazon and ordering some. Oh yeah. Eight hanger pack for 21 pounds. I'm buying two of them. And I've also had the email confirmation that the new fridge is on the way. Great success. Now if I just stay on task, um, I need to sort out the insurance for the motorbike, but I don't know what to do. 1700 quid to get insured on a 2000 pound bike what i've made a phone call to the amazing man who fixed this bike and he's recommended me a company to give a call so i'm going to speak to them now and see if i can get a better quote he did say the chances are due to your postcode and just the commonality of the cost of insurance it's probably going to be about right which i just cannot wrap my head around 2000 pound bike 1700 quid insurance what it just doesn't make any sense, does it, son? So we'll see how that phone call goes in a second, but first I'm turning him into a dinosaur. Suits you, sir. And now we're going to attempt to ring B-Moto. Be a winner, winner, chicken dinner, bikes insured, sorted, 400 smackaroos. A lot cheaper than the other one, still more expensive than I'd like to pay, but I've unfortunately found out that I've lost all my years, no claims from ever riding a motorbike, because if you let it go for two years without being insured or something like that, some sort of politics, uh, you lose it. So uh, we're starting again from zero, scratcho. But if we get back in here, 
The bad boy is taxed, MOT'd and insured. And we can go out, 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 out. <laughs> we going out, out, out. And I've just got to work out, like, where all my stuff is. It's probably in here somewhere. What is, what is this? Is this my, is this my, oh, it's me jacket. It's me bloody jacket. We've got me biking jacket. We've got the helmet. Could be wrong, but I think I've got the boots in here somewhere. I got the bootings. And then somewhere in there is me pants. Great success. The only thing I'm gutted about right now is the fact that the weather is absolutely shoddy. If I would have done this yesterday, it was like a cool, crisp, calm day. It would have been gorgeous to go out for a ride on. But instead... Uh, and hey, I was on the phone with the insurance company then for like an hour. It took a very, very long time because there was a lot of details and there was a lot of questions back and forth that we needed answering. To the point where I was on the phone and I missed two phone calls about the super secret project. Uh, and I missed a phone call from the delivery company that's dropping the fridge off and it's coming on Thursday. What a way to start a day. What time is it? 12.30. I'm flying through my tasks. A very good phone call has just been concluded about the super secret project. And I'm hoping to get some more like concrete information and news on Thursday or Friday. The ball has been rolling this entire time for like what last five, six months of me talking about it. But um, unfortunately, the way solicitors and lawyers and all this sort of stuff works is everything takes time. It takes too much time, but it takes time. And if it, if it, if it works out, if it pans out, it's gonna be beautiful. So fingers crossed. Now I'm topping up with a bit of hydration for the nation. Mm -hmm. And thinking that if it's only 12.41, should we head out for a bit of a drive and go to this big biking superstore that I know? Because I've tried looking for my motorbike pants and I can't find them anywhere. This jacket's 10 years old and my helmet has really been through the ringer. Like I use this thing sometimes for um, Cutting trees down with a chainsaw. So I think we could potentially do with a bit of a new look and have ourselves a bit of a matching attire. So I think it's time we ring my brother, Matt, because he just got himself a new bike at the moment. And he went to like some big bike warehouse for like all the gear and every idea you could possibly need. And I need to find out where it is. So ring-a-ding-dings, ring-a-ding-dings. Why are you no answer? Yeah, he didn't answer. So we're just going to make it up as we go along. Look at this. It's destiny. I open the door. You're turning up. Tremendous. Sorry. What about the rat? Mate, roll the clip. Where's it gone now, the yeah, rat? It's there. Oh, there it is. I've got it. It's there. Oh, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> How absolutely random is that? Andy just said it to me the other day, but in the weirdest thing, Andy bringing up rats then. My dad, this second, I'm going to send you a screenshot, not show you the video. Just sent me a screenshot of his garden and a rat being there. And I know this is going to seem really odd, but Lydia's mum is petrified of rats, like absolutely terrified. Just like Orion, who edits these videos, is terrified of snakes to the point where he's like, Tom, can you please not film snakes in your vlog? So I tried my best not to do. Explosion. But back to the rats for a second. In our area, there was a massive like compound, like a building compound that was known as like where all the rats lived. And they basically cleared it out and built new houses there. And we think in the local community of Chit Chat that because they've like flushed this rat nest out, they've kind of scurried off into everyone's houses and gardens and stuff, which is pretty nasty. Um, so I'll be on the hunt and the lookout for them. If I spot one, I'll bloody blind it. And we'll be eating roasted rat. Oh, I've found the place where I want to go today. I made a phone call to a friend and he was like, the one place you want to go for any motorbike accessories is J&S in Northwich. Now, I think I've actually been there before and I'm 99% sure that that's the location I was ringing my brother to find out about. So this is where we're going because they've got absolutely everything you could possibly imagine. So we're setting off there and Google Maps on the screen now. Oof, it is a long journey. So uh, no time like the present. And I would say, yippee, this is going to be a wonderful drive. But because it's Peshing it down. This is gonna be a slip and slide. Hi ho, Silver! Oh, wait a minute. I think we need some fuel. Two hour ish round trip. This is a smart decision. Oh, it wasn't even empty. Crikey. Car's fueled. I'm fueled. <sighs> Let's continue. This weather is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> up the music I knew I recognized where I was I'm near Alton Park the racetrack oh my gosh I could literally take this thing off well I was gonna say off-roading and that's not what I meant I could take this thing onto a track if I wanted to oh my gosh I'm that close I'm very tempted to like call in and just have a discussion with them being like hi I'm a noob don't have a clue what I'm doing 
Can you guys advise me and see what they say? Oh, might do it. Almost confident I recognize this location. Like I'm almost convinced that the Holly's Garden Center is down this road. Because if it is, I'm popping in getting some of that lemon chicken. Because freaking hell, that is good, but I could be completely wrong. But I'm pretty good with sense of direction. Um, I completely have put in the wrong place in the sat nav. Because somehow I brought myself to Delamere Lake when I'm supposed to be turning up at a bike store. Uh, un momento, por favor. Okay, turns out it's just a little bit down the road. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. So, the ultimate biking warehouse place should just be in front of me and on the right. Or, oh, there, it's right in front of me, what an idiot. <laughs> it's that building there. Uh, j and S Motorcycle Superstore, and I, I, ju I just missed the turn. Well, that was stupid. And turn around in a cul-de-sac later, we are about to flick a right, and we will be arriving at our destination. Yeah, I got completely distracted then, my bad. All right, Tokyo Drift Time out. Damn, my tires are too grippy, look at that. I thought in the wet I might have been able to do a little back end out there, but nope, tires have warmed up, we're nice and grippy, and this is where we're going. Oh, yeah, it was a nice drive getting it, you know, as well. I really enjoyed it. If there wasn't like a tractor in front of me at one stage, I would have been absolutely flying, but you have arrived at your destination. Turn right, and then turn right. Bing bong. Oh, yes. I like it, I like it, I like it. I can't express how happy I am to see that sign saying toilets. Flip in heck. I am absolutely bursting for a piss. <laughs> All right, let's back her up. Oh, right, look at all these. Oh, well, you know, I don't really want to piss off the people I'm about to go purchasing things from, but that car park looks like a donut divine intervention, but we won't do it. We won't do it. We'll just pull up nice and neatly and be a good purchaser at the store. Damn, we made good time there. It's only half past two, so got enough time to peruse and hopefully get out of here before the traffic starts getting bad. Bing bong. All right, J and S, let's see what you're saying. And let's hope this wasn't a wasted journey. Oh my gosh, look at this place. Oh my gosh. It's the holy grail for motorbikes. I just walked in and then, oh, what's your name? No way. <laughs> I just walked in and he was staring at me. I was like, I'm either about to get kicked out here or he knows you're from a vlog. Hey, I never thought I'd ever mate. meet you, mate. <laughs> hey, you, you met my mum? Yeah, she was in here with, I think it was Rex fella or something. Yeah, it a long was. Time I actually ago. just spoke to Daz and he recommended me coming here, but I know yeah, I've been yeah, here before yeah. in the past. What's up, man? No way. Hey, there you go. I'm, I'm, to meet you. I'm here for all the gear and I've got somewhat idea okay. of what I'm doing, so <laughs> here we go. First of all, Jake, why have you got a picture with my mum? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Just casually bumped into Syndicate's mum in work today. Yeah. Oh, well, very nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, what the yeah. hell is going on? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I'm one bunch of legends. This is insane. <laughs> I am so in the right place. This is what I'm after. I love, and I know it's better to wear the big, the full boots for safety yeah, protection, yeah, yeah. but for the casual riding I'm looking to do in, this is, perfect. this is it. This is what I want. This is the sort of thing I'm after. That's well cool. Yes. Dude, that's sick. Nice hoodie. But it's I can't believe this is like hoodie. proper gear to be you. wearing. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I really don't want to be wearing like all the big leathers and look like I'm going on a Sunday ride. I want to look casual when I'm riding and that, oh yeah. That's very nice. Yes, I feel like, like I said, I've got personal shoppers with me. Yeah. How do I look, guys? Do I look nice? Yes. That was stunning. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is this is exactly the sort of style of like what I want to be wearing. Is this like a false hood or is it an actual hood? It's an actual hood. Is it like pinned down? Oh, it is. Oh, sorry. Belly's hanging out there. Yes. Hey, this is nice. Boots, jackets, great success. Pants. And you're saying we can get something pretty casual as well, like what, Kevlar genie stuff? Kevlar all right. Well, they just look like a pair of diesel jeans I'd be wearing now. Fully Kevlar lined. Yeah. So you could come off your bike, slide at whatever speed. And yeah. Then really? And this is just how you feed the armour, or well, the padding into the Both knees? Yeah, exactly that, yeah. Wow. Boots, pants, jacket for like riding on the actual road. Just need gloves. Need gloves. But now if I want some like off-roady stuff, like motocrossy stuff, this is where we need to be shopping. Oh, come on now. The Syndicate Original needs to step into doing like all like off-roading equipment and jerseys and everything. Like, look at this. 
That's so sick. Finger time. Well, if you're gonna do it properly, you gotta match. And I can confirm I am definitely getting carried away here. Mm -hmm. They're nice. And they're even nicer. Yes. I feel like I'm playing Buckaroo when I give you that. Thank you, yeah. This is getting ridiculous. And that's not even the other stuff. This is now the tough decision of which helmet. Look how many there is. Oh my gosh. Look at this bad boy. All carbon fibered out. That is so nice. Currently looking at this. So this is something that I could have as like a universal helmet for like any other bikes on the road and it's kind of still like off-roading. And this can come off and I can wear goggles. Nice. Yeah, can you? Oh, very nice. Yeah, so this one's very much more like the casual vibe that I'm going for. Like I've obviously could go for like my downhill mountain biking ones that I've got at home uh, for just doing a bit of like off-roady stuff, like prattling around. But if I'm on the road, like, this is the sort of helmet that I'm really after. But that's nice. I like this one a lot. That is clean. That one's very nice. Oh, I like that a lot. Very, very clean. I'm going to try that one as well, if that's okay. Oh, I do like this one. This is very nice. Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, tough decision. I think this one looks more, like, sporty for, like, what I'm after. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer, like, these sort of accents on it than this. Hmm. But from a tech whatever's perspective, is there really any that much difference of them? Not a major amount, but if you want to be looking at RI, really? RI's the better. Really? Mmm. I took on board the advice, but I'm going to have to go with this one. That is very sleek, and I like it. So this is you just putting the anti-fog yeah, so thing in. Yeah, so it basically forms a, a yeah. layer between your face and the visor. Like, worth its weight in gold, this. Oh, I, yeah. Before I had one of them on my old helmets, so it was a nightmare. Lovely. Oh. Better was a fog in there. Get it in there. <laughs> I know I've already picked which helmet I want, but oh, I like the look of that. That is just like, it's like a mean machine helmet. That's lovely, that is. Look at this Master Chief looking helmet. Man, there's such a selection. Oh, look at these. Oh, what is that one? Oh, these are wicked. So glad I decided, oh, decided to come here. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. If you're into your motorbikes at all, definitely re recommend it. And the boys as well. Hey. The boys, <laughs> these are the ones you want. No offense to anyone else who works here, but thank yeah. you. Is this where I collapse? <laughs> yeah. Because I've kind of bought the entirety of everything you've shown me. So well done, sales team. You did a good job. Yeah, it would have been uh, cheaper to insure my bike. Thanks, lads. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate you. Cheers, Top blokes. And I'm not forcing you to do this. You said you wanted to see the car, so I'll let you carry that, yeah. right? Nice one, team. Till next time. Thank you very much. Honestly, that was well worth the journey. Look how much stuff I'm leaving with. This is ridiculous. All right. Job done. What do you mean it needs to clear? Mate, I've only just got it valeted. No, honestly, I was driving and I was like, how's it got so dirty already? But what do you think? Oh, yeah. yeah? I did ask about doing donuts as well, didn't I? But I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. But... What a trip. What a journey. I've got a lovely drive home now. If I'm quick, I'm going to miss rush hour, so that's going to be a great success. But yeah, those lads in there were absolutely sound as a pound. Can't believe one of them met my mum and then more so had a picture with her. So it's very nice for me to finally meet him. But yeah, wicked trip. Now what we've got to do is just get out on the bike. And I've kind of got no excuses, except the weather, to do so. Oof, I was in there a bit longer than I was expecting. Uh, it's now four o'clock. We may be hitting rush hour. Uh. Now on the way down here, I said I recognised the area because I was 99% sure that I was close to the farm shop called The Hollies. And these guys are amazing, one, because it's just a lovely place to go. But two, after we did our visit there, they sent us a little gift basket, um, like congratulating me and Lydia on Little Jellyman. So I'm going to go there now and pick up some of their incredible food, but more so see if I can thank the staff in person for uh, giving us that gift. So I think we just got to go down to the end and take a left. Oh, wait for it. Yes, the Holly's Farm Shop. I knew it. 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 All right, that's someone's private drive. This is where we're going. Oh, hell yeah. Lydia is going to be so happy. So, so happy. Oh, well, to be fair, I'm very happy. Yes, look at this place. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah! I'm absolutely buzzing right now. Last time I came here, it was absolutely rammed. But seeing as though it's four o'clock on a Monday, we should be sweet. Look at this place. Oh my gosh. And I think this is what I'm here for. French garlic chicken. This was 10 out of 10. So it's coming home with me. Oh, and I know Lydia like this. So I'm gonna get some chorizo sausage rolls and hog sausage rolls. Mm-hmm. Happy as a pig and shit. And just like that, we've got the stuff and we can set off home. A two minute detour from my trip home should bag me so many brownie points. Oh, I completely forgot to thank the staff. But the thing is, there's so many people who work there that I, I, do, I don't even know where to begin. Listen, all I'm, I'm gonna do this verbally. Listen, Holly staff, I know I said it when you sent the like little basket. Like, well, it wasn't like it was massive. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. And uh, throwing it out here again, that French garlic chicken or whatever it is I've just bought, is 10 out of 10 and people should go out the way to go and buy it here um i feel like you, these guys don't need enough promotion because when we last came we heard about eight people going oh i wonder if molly may's here because apparently molly may constantly comes here and puts it on her instagram or whatever um we, we just went because we went to go to the christmas farm shop i didn't realize the food there was going to be phenomenal so guys thank you you're amazing you're incredible i appreciate you home time again all right tokyo drift from the corner Zerp. and national speed limit let's go Oh my god, it's so fucking sexy! <laughs> yeah, I've been driving for all of two minutes and I am pretty much stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, for the record, this is actually all still the motorway and this is bumper to bumper on the junction. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm, I'm about to be sat in traffic for an hour. <laughs> Stephen, can you hear me? Yeah, I've got you, mate. Yeah, you all right? You're yeah, okay. yeah, I'm all right, Chief. Yeah, I'm just driving home, stuck in bumper to bumper traffic, and I thought, rather than sitting in traffic doing nothing, I'd be productive and see if you were free this week to be able to come up and have a conversation yes. about all this stuff I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, listen, um, do you want me to swing past Thursday? All right, mate, I'll, uh, I'll see you Thursday. All right, good Looking stuff. forward Speak to it. Later, Speak to you soon, mate. All the best. Bye-bye. And all right, there you go. Phone call in the bag. Whoa, two-door cinema club. Uh, phone call in the bag to plan and organise getting the joiner up to the house who can help plan what we need to do with the garage uh, pantry room and wash room and then also the basement office. Getting shit done while stuck in traffic. We're on the home stretch now because we're coming underneath the Stockport Viaduct. Look at it. What a marvel of engineering that is. I couldn't even build that in Minecraft if I wanted. And at long last, I am home and outside Syndicate Original. Hello there. I think I might be blocking the road. I might need to move. Hi, hi, hi. Wow, that feels good to get out of that car. Flipping heck. Whoa. You done good, kid. You done good. But looky here, looky here. What's going on? Is this for us? Is this a delivery for us? Yeah. Oh my gosh, is it? Look at those boxes. So I guess my timing was great. I've just missed carrying all those in. Yeah. Yes. Hi, yeah. You yeah, all right, Chase? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, all right, Grish? Yeah, all right, Karen. What is it? Abstract. Oh, on screen now. This is what it is. Wow. Wow. Really? That's a lot. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you've been waiting for an abstract hoodie back in stock, you can get yours now. Let's see how quick we can sell them out. <laughs> Ooh, I've got a box to open. Can if please? Um, this is, it says... It says Timbo. All right, time to find out what's inside the box. Ooh, there's a letter. And it's a long one, so I'm going to have to read this off camera because it's back-to-back -back doubled up, but it is indeed from Emily in Lincoln. And Emily in Lincoln has sent us... dun 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 Oh! A sketch drawing of Grandad. Oh, that's lovely. And then a sketch drawing of me. Oh, Emily, thank you so much. Look at them. I love how Emily started this letter saying, hi, Tom, I've wanted to reach out for so many years now, but I've not, I've not done so because I was too scared. I'm a P word. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Emily, if I ever invite a fan to one of my parties, I'll put you on the list, Emily. Thank you so much for that. And if you want to find Emily's Instagram, guys, there she is, Emily Shepherd. What a lovely uh, swing by the office, but uh, now we're going. Apparently, is this it? On time now? Half past five, we finished work. Oh. Emily, uh, mum's asked if you could draw a picture of Twiggy and send it in to her. Nice to see you. To see you nice. Arrivederci. Is that Italian? Yeah, yeah. yeah was it actually Italian? No. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I'm Italian. I always said you were going to Norwich. 
Which is I was like going to Norwich. Norwich. No, no to you've Norwich. been to Northwich. Well, it's spelt Norwich. No, it no, isn't. Oh, shut up, a lot of you. You're on a four-hour trip. A four yeah, hour I, I honestly trip. read it, and I was you like, I'm sure, you re- I'm sure you pronounce this saying n- n- Northwich. 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 But there's no TH in it, so it's not North. That's Norwich. Yeah, so I went Northwich. to Norwich then. No, Northwich. Which driver are you woman? Northwich. Well, I've been to Norwich near Alton Park. Yeah, it's Northwich. Northwich. There's no TH in it. There is. There is. Well, I'll take it back then. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how easily I own up to my mistakes. Thanks for the pictures. I'm going. Bye. Bye. I'm going now. Well, yeah, that was fun. Uh, pleasure as always. Till next time. Let's get on home and put a smile on my girlfriend's face. I'm putting an awful lot of pressure on that chicken to secure me one, but I think it'll do. Alas, we're home. My boy. Where is my boy? Oh, he's Well, it seems I'm doing a flying visit home because uh, Lydia's got a package at uh, the local, like, package collection place. That's the only way I can describe it, really. Um, so I've got to go and get it. But I've got your present. And I don't think you could possibly guess what it could be. Food. It is food. And I'm not giving you any guesses, but I'm hopefully going to blow your mind. <laughs> if this flops now, this is going to be really awkward. I've brought all my bags in and realised I probably bought way too much. But it's better to be overprepared than underprepared, right? Are you ready? I got you some sour sweets, but wait a minute, surely that's not all he's got. Hi, thanks for waking up to say hello. Sorry about the flashlight, I didn't realise it was on. That's not all I've got you. Okay. Guess what else I've got you? Oh, no. oh, time to gain some brownie pie. You went to the I've been to the <laughs> Bet you didn't expect that, did you? Is that a win? <laughs> Who's the best boyfriend ever? We want to go to the house. Who's the best boyfriend ever? Really good. You're the best. I got you some else as well. I'm 99% sure I recall you liking these, so I got you these as well. Ooh, sausage rolls. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, so oh, yeah. Look at the length of you. You're, you're, you're at least three sausage rolls that. long. What? And you couldn't have possibly gone You went the hot chocolate. I was going to bring it back, but it was an hour in traffic, and I was like, I don't think you'd appreciate a cold hot chocolate after all that time. So out of 10? 10. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any jelly, any jelly cups? I didn't get you any jelly cups. Did you go look at the jelly cups? No, I just got the food. Are you ready, my boy? Are you ready? It's Daddy. Hello. The adventurer returns. Adventurer returns. Hi. Oh, my boy. Oh, he's so warm. So cuddly. Hello there. Hello. I'm so glad that went down well, like, yes. Mmm, it's half past five. And the Ikea delivery for the legs for the unit downstairs is supposed to come between like four and, I'm gonna say, eight. Could be wrong. Um, it hasn't come so far. So I'm fingers crossing that whilst I nip out, it gets delivered and then I can go install it downstairs. So fingers crossed. I've just checked the DPD tracking and it turns out Nathan is called. He's running a bit behind, picture on screen now. Um, so I'm just gonna leave the gates open and hope that he will be here any minute. Talk about timing. I'm literally just putting my shoes on to walk out the door and that boy's just turned up. Yes, that is what I like to see. Oh, B-E-A, beautiful, thank you so much. Nice. But it's now my time to become the delivery driver because I've got to drop these cookies off with Lydia's friend. Then I've got to drop this off with the Irish man. And I've got to make a collection from down in Hyde. So, uh, DPD Tom, off we go. Oh, why am I not putting any of uh, Syndicate Royal Mail stickers on the side? For goodness sake. I had one job, but listen, it's raining outside. We're just getting on with it. And I've just had to pull over because I've tried to look in my rear view mirror, but I can't because this box is in the way. May or may not have forgotten to take them out. Okay, first parcel. I make, can you sign for these? Hello. <laughs> I got some cookies for you. Alright, on to the Irish. Hello. I'm saying this right now. I'm making amazing oh, toast, man. Are they in? Yes, sir. Yes. Alright. Oh, the baby. She's four weeks today. Yeah, she's a, oh. she's a month on Thursday. She's a little person. Oh. Guess what? What? I, I don't want the box to spoil it, but your birthday Christmas present's here. Oh, wait. Bet you forgot oh, about it, didn't you? I did completely, yeah. It, I think it was also you moving in present, and I just didn't. Get it, so I got it now. How long have you lived here? Two years. Yeah, no time like the present. Oh, he's getting in it. What could it be? Dad, 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 dad. Oh, no, Sonos. no way. but not just any Sonos. What? It's the Sonos that you can take outside all weather outside. and it's wireless. Yeah. Ah! 
Oh, that went down an absolute storm. And as they say, uh, better late than never. I should have ordered this thing two years ago, but kind of forgot. And last but not least, a quick visit to the Dirt and Her store. That all okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. Great success. Time to get home and get my Ikea on. And rest. Who's my little distinguished gentleman and what are you doing on this sofa? Oh, he's mad. He's just becoming his own little person. Look at him. Just chilling out, relaxing, hiding behind the sofa. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, what are you doing now? You're hiding from me. Are you hiding from me? You're hiding from me, aren't you? Okay, what are you eating? <laughs> I love him. I know I said it in the last vlog, but... Man, being a dad is so good. This is a bit of behind the scenes of me trying to get the vlog ready and live for people's faces today. It's 89% through the checks on YouTube. Um, it's currently nearly quarter to seven. The video is an hour and 34 minutes long. Oh my gosh, I did not realise it was going to be that long. I would love to hear your guys' honest feedback because the vlogs at the moment have been... Are you ready? This is how it goes. One hour, 59, 56 minutes, 39 minutes, 33 minutes, an hour, and then an hour and 34. For those who are new around here, the vlogs are supposed to be 10 to 15 minutes long that's it that's the cap it's supposed to be but i just get a bit carried away and love vlogging my day and it does seem through the feedback and everyone's you know comments they like long vlogs but are these a little bit too long if you think so please do let me know yeah that's right i can confirm the vlog's definitely gonna be late today and uh oh who's this it's a thumb sucker He's a sucker of the thumbs. He's doing it like an actual human, though. Like, he's not even, like, just trying to chew his hand or something or, like, soothe himself. He's actually going, thumb, suck, happy days. <laughs> what? Listen, it's okay. It's just a phase and you'll grow out of it. He's never really had a dummy or, like, the whole dummy thing. So when he's older, I'm going to be like, stop putting your thumb in your mouth. But he likes it and he's a happy little dude. Look at you. Who are you pretending to be? Trying to be Harry Potter with that little scar on your face? Honestly, we, we, we cut his nails all the time, but they just grow back so fast. Vlog's late. Four minutes past seven, and unfortunately, I have no idea where the end is in sight because the video's got a process into 4K, and it's still checking for copyright issues. So I really don't know when that's going to come about. Oh, wait, I just got a notification. I literally just got it saying no checks were found. All check issues were found. And there ain't no way, surely that's not, well, see the 4K symbol there, like flashing? That means that the video's not finished processing yet, so it's only registered up to 1080p 60fps. But unfortunately, on the back end, this is behind the scenes of YouTube, it's supposed to tell you here, like, oh, estimated time until it's fully processed is an hour, and it doesn't say anything. So I'm not sure where that leaves us, really. But the vlog was late. My bad. What should we do to make up for it, lad? Should we say, give away mm, one of the brand new Syndicate Original Abstract hoodies to a lucky person who comments down below? Just comment anything you absolutely want to comment. Uh, it, something about the vlog, why you enjoy the vlogs or whatever. And then either leave your Twitter or Instagram uh, along with it. And we'll reach out to you within 24 hours and let you know you've won. There you go. When I blunder, you guys benefit. Great success. I love you, baby. Oh, he's not singing now. Oh, he's got stage fright. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he literally was like, please stop. He was fully singing. I, mean, I was trying to capture on camera the fact that when Lydia was singing, he was like singing back, but apparently he was not a fan. What I'm about to show you is going to look very weird without context. And I can confirm this is not my attempt at an art piece. But at the same time, I think it looks pretty good. But this is the behind the scenes. I've been trying to get a thumbnail for yesterday's vlog. I hope it like performed well. Because like I say, on YouTube, the most important thing is like title and thumbnail. Like it, 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 it's so annoying that it is. But I do thank you guys just for like watching the vlog regardless. But... Um, yeah, I did a little bit of a photo shoot downstairs. We put my many different poses on the screen now um, of me trying to get that picture. And I'm just hoping you guys find that as funny as I did because I don't know why the black and the contrast of the orange looked kind of good. But we need to put the vlog on pause for a second whilst it's processing into 4K, which, hang on a minute, is it actually done? Oh, it has. See how that's not like wobbing back and forth anymore? That means it's ready to go. But something else that's ready to go is Lydia's got all the veg and everything prepped for dinner tonight. And I... Explosion. Uh, I'm cooking steak. So thanking you, Limefield. Let me in here. I should have two steaks underneath this chicken. What have we got here? We've got a, a filet. And ooh la la, a ribeye. So I'm just going to get these out of the packets. Let them aerate a second. Can I get a high five? It's steak time. Right. We're going to go for some heavy, heavy seasoning. Because, listen, uh, England. 
Ah yes, I do the filming now, I have the glasses on the face. Listen England, there's one thing we don't do enough and that's season your steaks. Watch any top chef season a steak and they slather that bitch. Um, I don't ever use gravy granules, uh, gravy granules, garlic granules, but I think I'm going to just use a bit of a, a tint of it in. Uh, just to give it a little bit of flavour. We're going to rub this in, it's going to be very nice. I'm just going to rub my meat, rub my meat, rub my meat. Oh, very nice, we're going to give it a rotation. We're also going to rub the other meat now. Oh yeah, rub the meat, rub the meat, rub the meat. Oh my gosh. This is going to look nice. This is going to look very nice. Oh, this sauce is looking delicious. Taste test. Taste delicious. Several fire alarms later. Dinner is served, Lydia, Thank you. and voila! I am so excited to try this steak with that sauce. Mm. Lydia's whipped up a bit of an ASA sauce special, and it tastes good. Damn. We've also got sweet potato fries that we can dip into it. Oh, look at that! Gym tomorrow. <laughs> wow. You wanted it medium. How badly Perfect. did I do? Oh, get lost! Perfect. Seriously? Yeah. Oh? really good oh bit bit on the rare side to be fair sorry it's gonna sound really random but um i really struggled cooking more than two steaks at once <laughs> okay i've gone from medium ribeye the survey says mm. Mm. good that's good actually we'll take that we'll take that have you ever seen a man so infatuated with a th <laughs> took it away and hide it Boop. Oh, <laughs> you made the cutest baby in the world. We did it together. I, I, I can't take credit. Look at him. I, honestly, 10 out of 10 would recommend. He's, he's awesome. I don't know if it's safe to come around this corner because Lydia's excitement <laughs> that so I've just experienced a second ago was unreal. What are you excited about? I am so excited for the washing machine to be there. Like, you can just take these dirty clothes that you shriveled all over. Yeah. And just go. And then I can just You already do that now. <laughs> and I can just go and get them. Like, everyone is washing out now. It's all the way downstairs. Which I know is a first world problem. Awful. I've got no pressure on me whatsoever now to make this happen ever. The bloody lass has fallen in love with the idea of this becoming a washroom. And what? I'm healthy. Listen. Like, if it... If it wasn't enough pressure to think about potentially doing the idea, it's now a case of, I think we've got to do the idea. And if that's the case, that needs to go, that needs to go, and that needs to go. You know what? This is actually also completely KO'd the electric bike in the centre, so that needs to go to the shop to get fixed. So I'm going to add it all to my list, and slowly but surely, we will get that room ready and prepped for the renovation. Okay, time for something I've not done since I was a kid. And that's grab all the stuff I got today. Because I'm going to put on a fashion show. I just need to put this all back together because uh, uh, I tried to do the, the thumbnail thing. Not gonna lie, I might leave these ones actually in there. It looks kind of funky. <laughs> oh, what? It looks like you went to On scale. <laughs> and as I've just filmed all those clips, look in the corner. We got a spider loose in this house. I'm not gonna kill it because they're good at catching flies. Wait, what am I doing? I've got the Ikea legs I need to install on it. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna do fashion show first and then I'll, I'll build it onto it, don't worry. I will not get distracted. Right, are you ready for my motorbike haul of what I'm gonna be wearing when I'm riding? Woo, ready, yeah! Yeah, boy, let's do this! Let's go to the fashion show! Introducing my first outfit. Ooh, la, la. Oh. Ooh, ooh, la, la. This is my new helmet. Oh, yeah. Bye! Very similar to one that I had like 10 years ago, but I like it. I think it looks good. I think it looks fresh. All right, that was outfit number one. Now for outfit number two. Introducing outfit number two. Bang! Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I did forget to showcase my other goals for the previous previous outfit, but I got a matching goals for this one. Oh, so right. then I'm like, rap, 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 rap. Thoughts, opinions? Uh, it looks like you are sponsored by Monster. Monster, please sponsor me. I'll do anything. I'll literally drink all your drinks as it is anyway. Now for outfit number three. Sleek and clean, all black outfit. Oh, I feel like you know, I'm I feel like it. Definitely, definitely feel like it. But 
This is like the all blacked out, clean as hell, really fast, really loose. You have to wear that one in the daytime. Wicked outfit. Whole new setup. Absolutely loving it. But that's not all. You got more? I've got more. This was my blah, 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 blah outfit. Um, I'm now going to show you the cash. You got casual outfits too. Oh, I got the cash. Oh, this is for when you go like boy racer. No, this is for when I'm like, we might, I might be go, meet you for food somewhere. Oh, or something I like see. that. We'll see. So you don't need to put clothes in these. With this They're outfit. For this outfit, potentially not. A pretty cash gear. Oh, you ready? Yeah. You won't even be able to see it from there. Cool jacket. Love it. Hood's good. Yeah. Like the hood. But I'm wearing Kevlar jeans. Got padding in the knees. They're made of Kevlar and no joke, they look just like my diesel jeans I wear all the time. That's cool. Black top gloves. Looking fresh, looking fly. My old man. But I've also got another jacket. Play black. And it comes in the form of a blacked out coat. Oh yeah. Like that? Yeah, nice. Rides a little bit higher, but it's a nice jacket. It's padded. And I feel like I could just easily pull that off somewhere. Well, Guys, what do you think? Let me know what your favourite one was in the comments down below, because I like it. I'm also very sweaty. That was that was hard work. That was very hard work. Hey, I tell you what, I, I th this place was amazing. You go in one door, you come out the other, it's just ridiculous. Oh, and I've got one more outfit. And it's called the safety first, they'll see me before they hit me. <laughs> okay, now it's a work in progress, but I'm just gonna cut out some holes, like this, and then when I'm on the bike, they'll see me before they hit, before they hit me. Anything going wrong here. No, it's, it's flawless. Can you see them before you hit them though? No. <laughs> I, I, I'll install mirrors in it. I think it's a pretty good idea. So, what do you think of my outfits? Really nice. Great success, I did a yeah. good job. You have to go riding about 15 times to wear them all. That's actually true. But that's what I'd rather do, because my when I on, all my old biking stuff, I only ever had like one set of gear, because when I started biking, that's all I could ever afford. Now I can have like the outfits that I've always dreamt of and wanted. So what it means is that when one goes from the wash, it can stay there for a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when one's dirty, I just get the other one out. It's a great success. But honestly, I can't get over these jeans. Tell me you wouldn't have thought they were just like the black diesel jeans. Honestly, those if, jeans if, are look, I've got this padded in the side there. Padded in the side, padded in the knees. But if I was just wearing them, I think someone would just think that's Tom wearing his normal outfit. Yeah. They're really good. They're so cool. That really was some sweaty work, that, putting it all in. Let me show you the state of inside here after that fashion show. Oh my gosh, look, at it's like a dress room. Uh, there's outfit one, outfit two, outfit three, outfit four, and then I'm kind of wearing outfit five. I like it. It's pretty sick. I just now need somewhere to put it on. What do you say? How much did you spend? I don't want to talk about it. More or less than you spent on buckets and boxes. I could have bought so many buckets, babe. <laughs> and so many boxes. I just got carried away. I was like, like honestly, I remember being a kid when I worked at McDonald's and I used to go and see those sort of clothes and be like, I want them. So now that I'm older and I'm an idiot adult, I've got idiot adult money, so I can go, yeah. I'm impressed with you, you had a yes day. You never have yes day. But there was so much more stuff I could have said yes to. No, you deserve it. Thank you. But... You deserve <laughs> it because you go right now. Mm. Yeah, I only just got my biking show today and I still didn't go out. I'm a, I'm a princess rider because I'm like, oh, it's, it's a bit wet and a bit windy, I'm not going out. Yeah, see, she gets it. She's all about it. Like, listen, you've got those people who go out no matter the weather. I'm like, no thanks. Listen, I'm all going, going out for the fun, staying dry and sending it. And hopefully, and if you're wondering like, why I'm actually fully yeah, looking at getting into this. Yeah, sending it safely. Absolutely. 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 Yeah, but um, I'm going to get Speedy Sun to teach me how to properly ride, like, motocross style, yeah. and yeah. hopefully get into it. All the gear, no idea, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Gear No Idea, it's going to be great. Oh, I can't sit down any longer because someone's just commented on the vlog on screen now saying, Tom, those boxes, you need to do up the zip. I'm like, what do you mean do up the zip? Apparently this is, you're kidding me. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. I didn't have a clue. How was I supposed to know there was a zip there? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Wow. Look how much sturdier it is. That makes so much sense. Well, shout out to that person. I had no freaking idea. Genuinely didn't think I'd need to read the instructions for some fold-out boxes from Ikea, but hey, the more you know. I would piss my sides if there's like 
thousands of people now sat at home going, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and I'll run into the boxes. If you do that and take a picture of it, unzip, that'd be hilarious. Hey, Derek, you're up, mate. Because look at this. All the fluff that came off everything I was wearing, you can uh, get to it, my boy. I'd rather drive myself off a cliff. What? We'll be having less of that talk, lad. No back chat in my basement. Now you can crack on with the job. I don't even think of taking any breaks until you're finished. Robots, man. Robots. I'm somewhat trying to organise where all my biking stuff goes. I have no idea where I'm going to put the clothes. I need some sort of, like, mannequin that I can hang everything on. But that wouldn't make sense because then I need, like, four mannequins. A mannequin? Yeah. What do you mean a mannequin? Really? The thing that stood there like that? <laughs> yes. It'd just be funny, because then I could have it like an Iron Man thing, like with my outfit that I'm going to wear. Terrifying. Well, it'd be terrifying, but it's also very not convenient. I thought it was a good idea, but then I was like, no, nah, that doesn't really make sense. So space, yeah, space saving. Wait, yeah, no, space saving's really not the not the the key thing I was going for then. If you go put, if, you, if you have your um, if you have your garage extension, you could have. Optimistic. You could have. Hear me out. <laughs> like an Iron Man, where I've always. All the suits. suits. I'd love that. Well, we're doing the extension. And is a certain someone ready for bed? Yeah. Yes, you are, my boy. You're amazing. Honestly, like, from a father to a son, you are sick. I, I oh, love baby. you. Oh, mate. I love you. You're my favourite thing in the whole world. Sorry, Lydia. But you are. <laughs> you know it as well, don't you? You got your big chubby cheeks, your little tiny ears. Look at your little pointy chin. Look at your do as well, mate. You're sick. Thanks, once again. Appreciate you. Oh, for goodness sake, I can't go to bed yet. What? I've got to just put those legs on the Ikea thing. No, we haven't. I I've got to do it. I'll do it tomorrow. I've got to do it today. Right, screwdriver, hammer. Let's get this thing built. Right, Derek, I'm, I'm... What are you doing? Stealing me socks! Absolute little heathen. Right, let's quickly get this thing built with the power of a time lapse, because I've got to be fast. There is no way this has just happened. Derek just drove into me and ate half the manual. I don't know what, oh! Derek, give it back, give it back. Oh, you big sausage. Oh my God, right. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Oh my God, what a sausage. So that was actually kind of cool. You actually undo the bolts that hold this together and then put these plastic things on that and go into these slots and hold it into place. So what I've all got to do now is like pick it up and place it in it. So I'm going to put this over here. Re-angle you. And then all I should have to do is put this up on its end like that and then slot it into place. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, missed all four holes, don't worry about it. And in! There you go, right, now you can feel it, see it's wobbling a little bit. And there is some like adjustable legs on the back of it apparently to stop that. But at the same time, I'm kind of going to say that like, I feel like it's wobbling. I feel like it's wobbling not on the legs, but in fact on like, on the metal. Not quite sure how to get around that and stop that from happening. Oh, I was gonna say everything was going so smoothly until Derek had the instructions, but yeah, that shouldn't be doing that. I could try like, you know, the obvious thing of just, I know this might seem a bit stupid, but what if we just turn it round? I wonder if it would like slot into place better. Okay, that's right there. No, even the other way around, it's still rocking horsey. I feel, I feel like this metal bar at the front is, yeah, you can see it's like, it's like bent. Let me show you closer up what I'm talking about. You see this bar here, you can see the gap where it's like, you know, there's no gap there. And then look at the distance of the gap there. So it's doing this rocking motion. And I have no idea what I would do to get rid of that other than like this bar being like bent in again. Oh, this is annoying. I feel like once you got stuff on it, it would just like weigh it down so it would be like safe and secure, but you can just see it. You can visibly see like 
the, the leg attachment that goes in there. See what I mean? You can see it there, and you're not supposed to do. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to troubleshoot this one right now. I decided to put everything on it and just see if it would, like, weigh it down. You can still see it. Like, you know, you know what I mean? You can see it there, as you can't see that one. You can pull this too a bit and see it hides it. But it wobbles still, like you see it, and then it will reveal itself. So if people are taking like towels in and out of this thing, I'm sure it will shift about. And what I've noticed now is when it's on these legs, it wobbles like absolute crazy. Do you know what I mean? It's just uh, doesn't seem sturdy. And that's where these mounts will come into play. Because what you got to do with these is put them in the back corner, attach it onto the wall, put a plate on it and a screw it through it, and it will like keep it pinned in place which I'm happy to do because like we've got holes in the wall everywhere, so it's not an issue. But yeah, I'm just not convinced that that bar is actually straight. I'm sure if I put a spirit level on it, it would be absolutely on the pish. But maybe we get a bit of glue along that bar, secure that in place, mount this up against the wall, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny Durant, that could potentially fix the problem. But it is now, ooh, a whopping bum 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 bum. Uh, five to midnight. I can't believe I didn't record that then. I just picked up all this cardboard, didn't realize the hammer was inside it. It fell through the boxes, landed on the ground, and just left a lovely big chip in the floor. I'm just destined to get these tiles removed. That is the plan, by the way. That's why I'm not, like, sentimental about them. If we're turning this into my office, that's going to get changed. And if I do put the false wall in here to separate the bar from this, like, changing area, we'll completely put something different in. So I'm, I'm not too upset. I'm actually more upset about this wobbly thing. But whatever, I've got a bunch of cardboard I need to take upstairs to give to Andy is a lovely gift. And I think I've got some groveling to do because I've been way more than five minutes. I've probably been closer to 35. So I'm going to send this cheeky bugger home and then I'll start his job from scratch again because I've left even more cardboard behind then. And if you end up breaking because you decided to eat the manual, that's your own bloody fault. But good night, Derek. Sweet dreams and good luck. I am going to bed. I feel like every time I put some cardboard out, I should put a, like a bottle of Peroni out as well because that's actually Andy's favourite beer. Because you've got to keep him fueled somehow. <sighs> but on that note, guys, it is indeed the end of another day. So I'm just going to say to you right now, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the vlogs. If you have, do me a favour, leave a like rating. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. We're trying to hit 2.6 million subscribers and the only way we can do it is if you, right now, watching these videos, who's not subscribed to the channel, creates a YouTube channel, clicks that button, ding dong that spell, that spell? Mingadium Leviosa! I'm hoping Orion fired something out the end of my finger there. But yeah, be sure to ding dong that notification bell and you guys will get notified every single time I upload a new video for your faces each weekday at 7pm on the dot. Sorry about yesterday's being late. Um, it was a very long video. I wasn't expecting it to be. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Just another day of the life of Tom being a potato. So from me and my son, thank you for watching our lives and we'll see you tomorrow for the next weekday vlog. So until then, much love and adios.